There are three major symptoms to a leaking EGR cooler. The first symptom is white smoke. When the EGR cooler starts to fail, it'll drain a bunch of coolant out of the EGR cooler into your exhaust system. And when that happens, the exhaust goes through, and interacts with that coolant and turns it into steam, and it comes out in the form of white smoke out of the back of your exhaust system. The second major symptom is the missing coolant from your degas bottle. The degas bottle is the proper way or the fancy way to talk about your engine's cooling system where you fill the engine coolant or your overflow bottle if you want to put it simply. That overflow bottle, if you notice that it's missing coolant all the time and you're always adding coolant, but you don't see it dripping on the driveway, you don't see any external leaks anywhere from your radiator or water pump, it's a strong chance that your EGR cooler is leaking internally and draining that coolant into your exhaust system, which refers us back to symptom number one with the white smoke. The third major symptom and the best way to check to see if you have a bad EGR cooler is to pull your EGR valve. An EGR valve is located on top of the engine next to the engine oil filter. If you pull that valve out, it should be full of nice dry black charcoal uh, carbon that's from the exhaust system. Most likely though, if you've got a bad EGR cooler, that coolant is coming out of the EGR cooler where it's leaking, interacting with all that dry black carbon and turning it into a black gooey mess. Or, in fact, it may even look like it's been recently been steam cleaned because of the hot coolant interacting with the hot exhaust and literally steam cleaning your EGR valve. If you have any three of those symptoms, it's a strong indicator that you have a leaking EGR cooler.